Good morning everybody and welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. Hello everybody and welcome to Vlogmas Day 24. <laughs> <laughs> Holly hide this for the elves. 2018, we've still got about 12 hours to go before our lives have changed forever. We're parents now. Yay! Hi, hi, hi! It's Sam. This is not a sponsored video. Please don't sue us. This is the first one. see I'm a little bit smarter than I was yesterday uh, that is because I'm going into London today for a dentist appointment and I'm also going into London for a it's like a meeting with um, a forum that I'm with and it's called the young people's forum at gosh I talked a little bit about it yesterday and I'm doing an interview with one of the uh, forums leaders um who's going to be interviewing me about my experience as a great ormond street which should be very exciting i am slightly nervous and apprehensive only because i've never been interviewed myself i have interviewed people but i've never been interviewed myself so we'll see how this goes i'm sure it'll go perfectly fine but you never know it should go all right you all right Awesome, let's go. I still cannot believe that you have this after like a month yeah. in your bag. It's never meant to go up a tree. No, nope. it's just going to travel around with you like a buddy for the next year or something. Do like his tour of London. I think we should, that would be a great idea. We should leave them for someone to be fine. Do not leave him, someone will take him. We spent a good, we, we spent a good amount of money on that slow man. A whole British pound is worth it. This is the best sandwich I've ever had and it's the weirdest combination but it's great. It's the Marks and Spencer's turkey and pigs and blankets <laughs> on soft sage and onion bread. And you were jealous of it. Do you want my sandwich now? No, I don't want sage and onion. It's so nice. You would love it. I'm happy with my cheese and celery. Thank you. Mine's more impressive. Um, I've been home approximately about five minutes so getting out the camera was quite a quick job but I managed to do it. I managed to go to Gosh, do the seminar and I'm pleased with myself although I was completely bricking it at the time. Um, if you didn't watch yesterday's vlog which I highly suggest that you do, um, I, uh, I went to a seminar meeting about uh, roles newly registered nurses can have for teenagers so the care that they should and shouldn't be giving them it was basically about my experience uh, what people could do to make things better and vice versa basically loads of different things covering subjects on mental health communication with patients literally loads of stuff that 
right now my mind has just gone foggy and I can't remember anything. Um, but I will include a link in the description to the Young People's Forum page. Basically, if you are a patient aged 10 to 21 or a sibling of the patient in that age range, you can sign up to the Young People's Forum and they have, what is it, six meetings a year. And these meetings are about anything to do with food testing in the canteen to basically what can be improved in the services at GOSH. And I had an email two days ago saying, would I like to come to a seminar um, and talk to 15 newly registered nurses, talk about my background without giving away too much information on who I am, my cancer diagnosis, um, just give off brief details of your departments, not your treatment, just how you think people could be more involved. And we went through talking points like this new plan that's coming out in 2020 called Phase 4. Um, I'm very excited for that, um, for a lot of new patients who are going to be teenagers then, um, who are already diagnosed with something. Um, the Phase 4 plan sounds brilliant. Um, they're still trying to perfect it. It's basically a new unit that's being built next to GOSH. Um, and I'm very excited because that's a massive thing for me. I think that teenagers do deserve a space of their own. Um, and then there was other talking points like a previous YPF meeting uh, covering the subjects of three aims on what is more important to them. And the three talking points were mental health, communication with the teenagers and I feel like it's something <clears throat> really bizarre but I need to find it otherwise you won't know. Uh, here it is, my, my presentation. Okay, oh rights of young people. So the rights of young people, the mental health of young people and the communication with young people and basically these talking points were given to the registered nurses and they had to be in the mindset of a teenager and it was very exciting to see what they come up with and what ideas were near to the ones that the teenagers had already done um, and then they came up with hashtags basically. Um, one person was very close to getting a hashtag exactly the same, and I think it was on the mental health one. Um, but she was so close. So, so close. Um, and then I gave off a small speech slash Q&A, uh, telling the nurses my experience, um, and what my experiences at GOSH has been like. And then at the very, 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 very end, I gave off my top tips for the nurses to kind of keep in mind for caring for teenagers. Because for me, my two top tips are communication and mental health. If you have lacking communication skills with teenagers, it's not really going to work. And same for mental health. If you don't know those two things properly, it's not going to work out very well. But... They were all very kind and very lovely. I even managed to not have a panic attack. I'm so pleased with myself. And then at the very, very end, um, one of the lovely ladies came up to me and gave me a chocolate Santa for giving away my free time. So it all paid off very well. But I'm exhausted and tired and I need to still edit yesterday's vlog. But I'm very impressed with myself, so if you are a patient at Great Ormond Street, or an outpatient, doesn't mean you have to be a patient, you can go to the YPF's website and you can sign up, even you and your sibling can go, and it's just an experience that you don't normally get. The Household Cavalry that I vlogged a couple of months ago, <laughs> um, that was from the YPF. And you can get loads of experiences from them, so I highly suggest going to them. I still need to go to my first meeting, but I can't go because the next one is when we're picking up Sam. So that's going to be fun, but I'm hoping to make one next year. So I'm very impressed with myself. I may have found out something on Google right now. I'm so excited. So <clears throat> I have 
literally just found this on Google and it's a story about the sun and the earth and it's so beautiful I love it oh my god it's so beautiful oh my god I'm literally honestly I'm so happy right now because I don't think Google have ever done anything like this but this is all about the astronomy of the earth and the sun and how meteors and asteroids that are massive in the first place don't hit us and make a massive impact and they break up and they make tiny little asteroids and meteors and comets and oh my god I'm so happy because I am freaking out right now I'm just freaking out oh I love it oh it's so cool I'm gonna have to send this on messenger to my brother if he hasn't already seen it oh wow okay so basically in more detail this is about the Gemini the Gemini meteor shower which happens every every year and it's basically the December meteor shower and every night um every December or it's certain days in December but it's more for like a steady week um this entire meteor shower just happens like you can see it from anywhere in the world <laughs> um and it's basically caused by an object 3200 Pertheon, which is brought to be a Palladian asteroid with a rock comet. Yes, I did just read that off of Wikipedia. Um, oh, I'm so happy. Oh, you know, this is my life. This is what I want to do. I want to be an astronomer. I don't want to be an astrophysicist and an astrochemist or, or whatever, just something to do with space. And I'm freaking out because Google have just done it based around the Gemini meteor shower. So I'm so, so happy. Oh, you cannot see him. Oh, don't put torch on. No, sorry, right. I don't want to disturb them, but... Oh, that's better. My tortoise has suddenly decided that today is the worst day of his life, so he's sleeping on his head. <laughs> Herbie. You were so tired. You look like you're a drunk, mate, I'll be honest. Bless him.